Hello, in this video, you will learn about Grave Wolf Optimization Algorithm. So, we will understand what is this algorithm all about step by step using example. Topics covered in this video. What is this algorithm all about? How this algorithm is working? Then we have mathematical model for this algorithm. That is the mathematical model for hunting, mathematical model for encircling, and the mathematical model for attack. Then we will learn how we can calculate the fitness value for each wolf, how we can initialize the initial population, and how we can compare the fitness value, and how we can update the position for the each gray wolf. And we will learn this with an example. So let's start this with what is gray wolf optimization algorithm. As we all know, this is a meta heuristic algorithm and proposed by Sir Mirazali and the Lewis in 2014. And how this algorithm work? This algorithm is inspired by the social hierarchy and the hunting technique used by the gray wolf. So what is this algorithm all about? This algorithm is inspired by the hunting techniques used by the gray wolf and their social hierarchy. So first we will learn about gray wolf. So we have gray wolf, pack size is 5 to 12 and they live in a highly organized pack and they are the most successful animals living on the earth because they have ability to work together in the pack that make them most successful animal on this earth because they can survive in any condition because they can work together. Then we have pack leaders that can be a male wolf and a female wolf. So each wolf pack have pack leader and it can be a male and a female wolf. Then we have different ranks for the wolf in a pack that is alpha, beta, delta and omega wolf. Now we have alpha wolf that is the pack leader and it can be a male and a female wolf. Responsibilities of Alpha wolf is about decision making, about hunting, sleeping places, time to wake up and all the important decisions are made by alpha wolf. Next is beta wolf that is the second best candidate to be the alpha. And beta wolf give feedback to alpha and it also help alpha wolf in decision making and the other pack activities. Then we have Delta Wolf. Here we have different wolf in the pack and they provide food to the pack and they work for the pack in case of any danger on the territory. Then we have Omega Wolf. In this level we have caretakers, older wolf, scouts and the hunter. Now we will learn the main steps we are using here in this algorithm and they are inspired by the social hierarchy and the hunting technique of the gray wolf. First is searching. Searching means here we are searching for the prey. So in the first step, wolf is searching for the prey. After that, they will track the prey and approach it. And after that, they will encircle the prey until it stop moving. And when the prey stop moving, bull pack will attack on the prey. So in this case, attack is done by alpha wolf, that is the pack leader. So mathematical model for this algorithm is, we will consider the fittest solution is alpha wolf, second best solution is beta wolf, and the third best solution is delta wolf. As attack on the target is done by alpha wolf. In first iteration, we don't know the prey position. So we will consider the fittest solution that is the alpha wolf as the target. Now we have mathematical model for the encircling. So we will use these two equations in order to update the gray wolf position and according to the position of prey. So using these equations, we can update the position of the gray wolf according to the position of the prey. Here you can see this is the position of the prey and this is the position of the gray wolf 
and here we have a and c these are the coefficient vectors now we have mathematical model for the hunting here we have different equations you can see the distance vector for alpha beta delta and then we have position of first second third wolf after that we will update the position of the gray wolf using this equation done so this is the mathematical model for the attacking so how they will attack so when the target stop moving they will attack on it and finish hunting process so how will we will model this for this modeling we will decrease value for a from 2 to 0 during each iteration as the a decreases a vector a also decreases and when they will attack when the value of a is less than 1 and when the value of a is greater than 1 they will find the better one else they will attack when this value is less than 1 so in each iteration we will update the value for capital a and small a also so this is the gray wolf optimization algorithm first step is initialize the gray wolf population then we will initialize the values for a and c these are the coefficient vectors then we will compute the fitness value for the each searching agent and after that we will choose the best that is the alpha second best beta and the third best delta then we will check this condition whether it is true or not if condition is true then we will update the position for the current search agents and after that we will update again coefficient vectors then we will again compute the fitness value and after that we will update alpha beta delta increment the counter and we will continue the loop until the condition math after that in the end we will return the position of the alpha wolf so we are doing here optimization in this case so first step is initialize the gray wolf population so for example i'm taking here six bulb so we have number of search agents that is six and the range i'm using minus 100 to 100 and the dimension is 30. you can use this you can use this line in the matlab and you can generate the initial population for the gray bulb so in, we have initial population for the gray bulb now we have six wolf and you can see the position of the first wolf second wolf third wolf fourth fifth and sixth next step is we will calculate the fitness for the each search agent so in this case i'm using a fitness function this one you can see in the main research paper written by sir miraz ali they used a fitness function that is fitness no function number six here we will compute this you can see this is the fitness function that i'm using here in order to compute the fitness value for the each search agent so when you will apply this value here you can see we updated the initial fitness value for the each search agent after that you can see we have fitness value for the each wolf so step two is done now next step is we will compare the gray wolf fitness value and we will check the current first three best bulb done now we are going to compare the fitness value and we will choose the first three best bulb that is alpha beta and delta so according to this you can see here the best one is the minimum value is here minimum fitness value for the fifth bulb so we will use this value as the alpha bulb and the second minimum value is this one so this is beta and the third one is this one so this is delta wolf so now we have first three west wolf alpha beta and sorry this one is delta here this is alpha beta and delta by mistake it is beta so please use this delta so now we have three west wolf in the pack and you can see the position of the alpha beta and the delta with their fitness value alpha wolf beta wolf and the delta wolf and the fitness value now step three is done next step is check the condition so initially we have counter zero condition is true this value is greater than zero so now we will move to the next step 
Step number five. Now we will update the position for the search agents. So for this we are using here coefficient factors and here a is decreasing from 2 to 0 and we can compute the value for a1 using this equation and you can compute the value for c using this equation. Here r1, r2 are the random numbers and we have value for the random numbers between 0 and 1 and using this we can compute the value for a and c that is here a1 and c1 so then we have the gray wolf hunting model uh, so here we will put all the values that we computed here for c1 c2 and c3 and then we have values for the delta that you will compute here and you can see here we are using random numbers r1 r2 so we have random numbers so they are different when you will search for the random numbers. So we will compute the R1, R2 for the alpha, beta, delta, one by one for each. So we will use different random numbers. So you can see here when you will try to generate random numbers. So every time you will get a different number here. So for each wolf, we will use different random numbers. And you can see here the value is changing. And here t is 0 right now and when the next iteration will start value for t is 1 2 3 and so on so when I put the value in this equations I've got the value for d alpha this one and the x1 is this one so like that you can compute the value for the d beta d delta x2 and x3 so we need here x1 plus x2 plus x3 so you can see now we have x1 x2 x3 now we will add and calculate the average so you can see here we computed the value for x1 that is 3.4732 where we will use this value as you can see here in this case initially we use one now next time in the next iteration we will use the value here that we recently computed that is this one so that is x1 now we will compute the fitness value for the each search agent and we will use that fitness function and you can see the fitness values computed for alpha beta delta now next step is we will update alpha beta delta bulb so for that we will compare the fitness value and the bulb score so for this we will compare the older fitness value with the new fitness value if the old fitness value is greater than the new fitness value so we will update it so we are going to update alpha so we will consider the new fitness value position for the wolf else we will use older value as we are doing here optimization so we need the minimum value so for the first wolf you can see here the older fitness value is 3.4425 and the new fitness value is 1.2910 here in this case you can see the condition is true so we are going to update it because we need minimum value as we are doing here optimization this is optimization algorithm you can see here so we need minimum value so we will consider new fitness value and the new position that we recently computed for the alpha wolf as the new values like that you can check the value for the beta so all the value for the beta wolf here we can see 11.0204 and the new value is this one again we will update it we will consider the minimum value as the fit test solution like that we will do for delta and you can see we have now new updated position and the new fitness value for the alpha beta delta now next step is increment the counter now value for t is one and we will grade the wolf as the which one is best you can see here we have this one is best so this is alpha beta and delta so we will repeat this loop until condition is met now value for t is one now we are here in the second iteration and we will use the value for x1 here 3.47332 so like that put the values here in this model and i computed again values 
for the alpha x1 d beta x2 d delta x3 and put the values here i got x2 0 0.1526 so now you can see here we have previous updated position and these are the recently computed again we will compare the fitness value and then we will check which one is the best one so like that you will repeat the loop until condition is met in the third iteration value 40 is 2 and like that we will repeat this until 50 and now we have value for x2 is 0 0.1526 and in the last step of this algorithm is we will return the best solution that is the alpha so right now according to this example you can see we have best solution that is this one so we will return this value position of the alpha is 0 0.3045 and its fitness value is 0 0.6 Four seven three. So you can see here. So that's just all about gray wolf optimization algorithm. First, we will initialize the population. Then we will initialize the values for coefficient factors. Compute the fitness using fitness function. Here we are using fitness function for the optimization. And choose the alpha, beta, delta wolf. Check the condition. If condition is true, update the position and calculate its fitness update alpha beta delta increment the counter and in the end we will return the position for the alpha bulb so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video